Shalom, this is Boaz Michael, the founder and director of First Fruits of Zion. Welcome to the Torah Club audio magazine for Unrolling the Scroll. The ninth reading from the book of Genesis is named Vayishev, which means, and he dwelt. The title comes from the first verse of the reading, which says, Now Jacob dwelt in the land where his father had sojourned in the land of Canaan. Genesis 37, 1. Despite the portion's name and the first verse, the story is actually about Jacob's son Joseph and how he was removed from the land of Canaan and dwelt in Egypt. The narrative follows Jacob from Canaan to Egypt to prison. In addition, this reading contains the story of Judah and Tamar. The book of Genesis is a beautifully crafted work of art. It is easy to forget this in the midst of all the details. As we seek to find the voice of God and His direction for our lives from within these words, we should keep in mind that we are reading an amazing story that has merit all of its own. Even if the story of Genesis did not convey timeless moral truths and ethical instruction for our lives, even if it did not foreshadow the Messiah and lay the plan for redemption out before us, it would still be a compelling narrative. This becomes increasingly clear as we read the story of Joseph. All the themes from the earlier stories, sibling rivalry, covenant continuity, concealed identity, reconciliation, and redemption come together into the story of Joseph. Teeming with irony, suspense, sorrow, and joy, the story of Joseph is the crescendo of the book of Genesis. Nevertheless, the story of Joseph is also rich with practical, moral application. It is a real and honest story about human relationships. It is full of difficult stuff of life, family dysfunction, sibling jealousy, lust, temptation, slander, and betrayal. Through all of this human chaos, God weaves his perfect plan for salvation of Jacob's family. This Torah reading is the first of our four in the story of Joseph. Thanks for listening, and may the Lord bless you as you turn your heart to hear from him in the study of his word.